G'day guys, BJ from Moonacraft. Just gonna give you a rundown through the latest boat to leave the factory. So as you can tell guys, black hull, beautiful black gel coat. We've got the black wave breaker up top there with the two windows. Sitting on a three ton trans style trailer, it's got the boat catch and the stone guard. Up the front there, it's got the, the GX2 Lone Star as per usual with the nine kilo flare anchor. But what we'll do, we're gonna go in the back and show you what's really special about this boat. We had a heap of fun water tested, and I'm gonna show you why. Like I said guys, something pretty special down the back here. So this is the first for eating craft from a six meter offshore. We've got the 400 L6 Ferrado. So supercharged Ferrado, um, as you would expect, <laughs> impressive, I'll tell you what, so much fun, plenty of power, but the fuel economy, um, the mid range in it, the three and a half to 4,000 RPM, we're sort of getting around the 50 to between 50 to 60 kilometers an hour and getting 1.3 to 1.4 kilometers a litre, so exceptional. Um, you know, getting up to around the 6,800 RPM mark, that's what you expect. It's very impressive, it's very quick, but also the boat handles are very, very well too. So yeah, very awesome, a heap of fun. Um, had an absolute ball water testing this one. Well, guys, we're down here, got the Eden Craft bait board. Um, one thing we pride ourselves on um, here at Eden Craft is our stainless steel work, because as you can tell, the snap racks will be made in house. We've got the slimy tubes down the back there running off 1100 gallon pump. So just the wells, we polish out the wells and just finish things to the highest standard we possibly can. So light bait tank down there. We've got the power steering pump and the VSRs there for the Vert Mercury. So the big L6 has got the AMS and it runs a factor power steering. So we've got the power steering pump in there, the VSRs and a couple of batteries, so one either side. Down the back there, we've got a high wide transducer, one kilowatt, and also got a one kilowatt low as well. Running through the Simrad 16, which we'll show you in a minute. Uh, kill tank there on the floor. We've got the game base down the bottom for future. And as always, the, the molded dive board. So it's something we just keep absolutely loving here. It's been a massive improvement to the six meter boat, so we're just still loving that. So up on the rocket launcher here, guys, we've got the steady work lights in a white frame. They've got diffuse the lenses, so I can change the lenses to whatever sort of color suits. Got a couple of aerials up there. I've also got the center rigger there for a shotgun. Uh, nice black bimmy there done by oil board trimming. Does a great job. We've also got the Eden Craft seats on the gas pedestals with a 12 inch base. Up at the helm, we're running a Simrad Evo 3. And we're also running, like I said before, the one kilowatt high wide and the one kilowatt low. So good versatility there with transducers. Got the Vesa View 403. And we've got all the carling switches there and also the anchor switch for the GS2 up the front. In the cabin, we've got a pie warmer. We've also got the Fusion RA55 stereo and the GME VHF as well. So all kitted out, ready to go. Um, yeah, beautiful fit out as always. <laughs>